Hi everyone, Kevin Mercurio here for Les Inspections Mercurio. About a week ago, I posted a poll uh, asking my uh, followers if they thought that a double basin sink like we have here requires one P-trap or two P-traps. And it was a bit, of a, a bit of a trick question. And so as you can see here, this is a double basin sink and we only have one P-trap, okay? So everybody that told me and that replied to the poll that said it requires two P-traps, well, unfortunately, that is not the right answer. And because I saw so many people replying uh, that it does require two P-traps, today I'd like to make a, a video explaining to you why it's important that a double basin sink only has one P-trap. In order to do that, I first need to explain to you guys what a P-trap is and how it works. So I printed out an illustration of um, the plumbing system that you'll find under most sinks. And so in this picture here, you have the water inlet, which is where the water is draining from your kitchen sink. And this would be representing one basin. So you would have one of these on this side and then the other basin, you would not have a P-trap because like I said, you only need one P-trap. So back to the illustration, you would have water coming down from your, from your basin after you undo the plug in your sink and it's draining and it goes through this P-trap and the reason it's called a P-trap is because the configuration of the plumbing is in the letter of a P. And the reason it's called a trap is because there's always a trap or a seal of water that's always in this, in this uh, curved bend of uh, pipe here, okay? So the reason that we need that water always there uh, is because if we didn't have water in that pipe uh, all the time, we would have sewer gases and odors coming back into our home through the opening of the pipe and you would smell that in your home. So the reason the plumbing is set up this way is so that because there's always water in the pipe, you don't get that sewer gas smell coming back into your home. Uh, so to explain to you in a bit more detail, um, why we only need or why we should only have one P-trap on a double basin sink, contrary to popular belief, I also need to explain to you how venting works. So uh, contrary to what most people think, the plumbing in a home is not just pipes draining water towards the bottom. So a plumbing system needs ventilation to drain properly, okay? And I'm going to explain to you how ventilation in a plumbing system works. Uh, a lot of you may have seen that on a roof of a building, there are things called vents and it's just uh, a plumbing, a vent stack that's going through the roof and it allows for air to come in the plumbing system. So this is similar to, um, as, as a child, I'm sure you've done this a few times, you put your, you, you put your straw um, on the, you put your finger on the top of the straw and if there's water or liquids or soda, anything in the straw, it won't come out of the straw because you're not allowing air into the straw. So if you did not have a vent or if you didn't have air in your plumbing system, your drains would have a hard time discharging or, or draining. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a live demonstration of how this works. Um, so firstly, what I have here is a water bottle filled with, filled with water. And you'll see that when I drain this bottle, because there's no vent on the top, I'm just gonna position this camera a bit better. Okay. So what you'll see here is because there's no vent, or there's no opening anywhere that air can come in the bottle, um, it's gonna do like a gurgling effect and the water's gonna take a long time and it's gonna have a hard time coming out of the bottle, okay? You see that? So what's happening is that the, the the bottle is struggling to find air to help evacuate the, the uh, water that's in the bottle. In contrary, I have a water bottle here that I pierced a little hole at the top and this acts as a vent similar to the vent that you'd find in your uh, residential plumbing system. And what you'll see now is that I, when I open the cap over here, the water is going to flow out a lot more freely and it's going to flow out a lot, it's going to drain quicker. Okay, took two seconds. So the benefit of having a drain in your house is that it lets air in the pipe. And contrary to that, if you don't have a vent in your plumbing system, what could happen is you have siphoning. So 
Remember that section of pipe we talked about here that has water in it all the time? If you did not have a vent going out through your roof, well, what happened is that when you drain your water, your plumbing system would be looking for air and it would siphon that water or it would risk siphoning that water in that P-trap and you would lose that seal against those uh, sewer gases, okay? And now, back to the initial topic of this video, now that you know what a P-trap is and how uh, plumbing venting works, you might be asking yourself, okay, but why do we not have two P-traps on a plumbing sink? Why can't we just have one on this basin and one on that basin on that side? And the simple answer is that because uh, oftentimes there's a risk that you can fill up one basin and you could fill up the second basin of the sink at the same time. And let's say you happen to drain uh, both basins at the same time. Uh, there's a possibility that the water that's still running from the second sink, um, it will it will drain completely and it would effectively uh, be blocking the vent from the second P-trap. So I'll explain that in a little more detail. So let's say you have one P-trap here and another P-trap on this side. When the water is, let's say you drain both sinks at the same time, well what happened is, I'm just gonna get my illustration again, the water that would be coming through the pipe, because it's fully blocking the pipe draining from one P-trap, it would be blocking the ventilation for the other basin and for the other P-trap. So that body of water risks getting siphoned, okay? So your first trap would be siphoned. So you would lose that, you would lose that seal of water. And that's why we only put one P-trap on a double basin sink all the time, okay? Uh, so I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, I hope you understood the material that I'm trying to uh, relay to you guys, uh, including the P-trap and why ventilation in a plumbing system is important. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment on this video, depending on which platform you're watching it. And if you think it would help somebody, uh, please share. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.